Hello everyone, I am Rick Arder and welcome to another review. Today I'll be taking a look at the 125th scale monogram 1959 Chevrolet Impala convertible model kit. This is a skill level 3 kit which require you to have paint and glue to assemble the model as per directions and box art. And this kit was released in 1993. Taking a look around the box in the front here they have a photo of what the model can look like if you build it as per directions and box art. And here on the side they just have a little bit of information about the skill level system and the model kit itself. This kit is molded in color. And on the other side here you have a few photos of what the kit can look like if you build it up as per the box art or directions. And it looks like you can do a continental kit as well on this which is pretty nice. So now what I'll do is just uh, take everything out of the box here for you guys and we can look at what comes inside. Now this is an older kit so it's not quite in as good a shape as what some of these newer ones will be. On top here you have your instruction sheet and this is the older style monogram. You don't really see this much anymore. Give you some information as well as a nice illustrated photo and you have your exploded diagrams here which looks to be really nicely detailed so it shouldn't be a problem getting all this together. And there is quite a few steps to assembling this so this is a skill level 3 so it's a little more complex than what a skill level 2 would be. Here you just have a card showing some other kits that they had at the time. And uh, here we have our clear molded parts which as typical back in the day they are not in a bag but they do look to be in really good shape which is nice to see. Tires are here they're just kind of floating around that's what I always worry about because sometimes the tires can get up against the plastic and you add some heat to that and you got some big problems but overall everything looks good so far. Take this out here you can see here everything's molded in this metallic blue color with the white as well which is nice and you have your translucent red parts in there. Doesn't look to be a whole lot of parts in here as far as uh, the molded color parts but we have some chrome plated parts here as well that are not in a bag and you can see the tires here actually and this kit looks like it was taken care of pretty nicely because I don't see any problems. The tires are quite hard and here's our windshield here. It's got a few scuffs and a scratch on it but I think you could probably get that out and here are the decals which actually don't look like decals at all. These look like stickers. So that's something a little bit different. I don't actually see any decals in the kit. I just see those. And here are two chrome plated parts trees. They look pretty good. Take a closer look at those in a second. So here's everything that comes in the kit and there's only about six parts trees that come in this kit. However the parts trees are quite large. And overall the detailing is amazing on this kit I have to say. I am really impressed. Overall everything looks nice. There's no metal axles. Um, you know, it just everything looks good. The only downside, like I said, is that they didn't package some of the stuff and it just sat for years and it's got some scratches and some imperfections. But for a kit that's this old, I mean everything looks great. The chrome still looks really nice. And you can see they have all the white parts for the interior and everything is just excellent on the detailing. Especially this body here. This body is just great and the way they have this molded you almost don't have to paint most of this. I mean there are some imperfections obviously you can see there in the plastic itself but I think if you're a person who just you know wanted something decently nice to put on their shelf and not have to put a lot of work I mean you polish this up and uh, I think it'll look really nice. You know you can just paint your accent parts like the exhaust and engine and stuff like that and you could just have it all metallic blue with the white interior if you'd like. But overall, like I said, I'm very happy with this kit. Parts look excellent. It's got the 348 V8, 335 horsepower, I believe. It's got the tri power setup. But everything's very crisp. Just a little bit of flash here and there. Not a big deal. This chassis is really nice, too the detailing on that. And then these stickers like I stated earlier. Which is kind of good because if these were decals over all the years they probably wouldn't be good anymore. So there's all the parts in the kit guys. Hope you got a good look at everything. After taking a good look at the 59 Chevy Impala convertible model kit from Monogram, I am very impressed with this kit and I do recommend it if you can find it. So I'd like to thank you all for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all soon.